Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of AutoCAD Tip of the Week. This week we will have a look at the xclip command which allows you to crop a display. So here I have some objects and essentially what I want to do is cut a section in the elevation type along this drawing here and then use that section to use the xclip command. All right, so the first step I'm going to do is cut a section in the elevation and I'm going to pick my coordinate to be 1176.9 and increase my clips to uh, view a significant portion of my section and name this section as section. Now, once I have my section, as you can see here, what I want to do now is basically save this section as a block. So to do that, I'm going to type in block and name my block as section block. I'm going to specify my base point to be this point right here and select all my objects to be part of this block here. Once this is configured, I can click OK, and now I have this section saved as a block. Now, let's have a look at the xclip command. So at the command line, I'm going to type in xclip and select my section, press Enter. And now what I can do is basically generate a new boundary by clicking here and selecting the type of this boundary. In my case, I want to have a rectangular boundary, so I'm going to click right here. Now, I'm going to basically cover my section, and once this is done, what I can do now is basically use this boundary to crop part of this section here. Now, note that it does not actually delete part of the section, it only allows you to crop parts of it uh, only for viewing purposes. All right, so what I can do is go back here and maybe view this part instead. And likewise, I can also view other parts. And what this little arrow here allows you to do is to basically reverse so that you can view everything outside the boundary and nothing inside the boundary. All right, so again, I can adjust this as I like, and I'm only left with everything outside. If I would like to go back, I can simply click the boundary again, and I click the little arrow, and this will only show me the part inside the boundary. Now, to get rid of this xclip boundary, what I can do is type in xclip again, select my objects, press enter, and then click off and I have my section back again. And this concludes AutoCAD tip of the week. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and have a great week.